In this video, we're going to do the CUDA software free worksheet under Infinite Algebra 1, multiplying and dividing positive and negatives. On the site, I believe it's under multiplying and dividing rational numbers. In this video, we're going to do all the division. So under find the quotient, we're going to do numbers 1 through 20. And then in the next video, we'll do find each product, and that'll be numbers 21 through 36. So for dividing positive and negative numbers, we have four different possibilities. So here are our four possibilities. We can have a positive over a positive number, so a positive divided by a positive. We can have a negative divided by a negative, and then we can have a negative divided by a positive or a positive divided by a negative. In our first example, a positive divided by a positive number will also result in a positive number. A negative divided by a negative number will result in a positive number. You can think of this almost as the negatives canceling each other out. For a negative divided by a positive, that is going to result in a negative number. And a positive divided by a negative will also result in a negative number. So think that whenever the signs are the same when you're dividing, so if you have a positive divided by a positive or a negative divided by a negative, that's going to result in a positive answer. If you have a negative divided by a positive or a positive divided by a negative, that's going to result in a negative answer. So let's go ahead and do number one. In number one, we have a positive divided by a positive. So 10 divided by 5 is going to be a positive 2. Because 10 divided by 5 is 2. For number 2, we have a negative divided by a positive. A negative divided by a positive we know results in a negative. 24 divided by 12 is going to give us 2. So for number 2, we have a negative 2. For number three, we have a negative divided by a negative. That is going to result in a positive. That was the second option we went over. So negative 20 divided by negative two is going to be a positive. 20 divided by two is 10. So negative 20 divided by negative two is a positive 10. Let's go on to number four. We have a negative divided by a negative, so we know that's going to result in a positive. We can simplify this before we do the actual division. If we divide both the numerator by 10 and the denominator by 10, we're going to get negative 30 over a negative 2. So the zeros we can simply cross off since we had divided by the negative 10. So we have negative 30 divided by negative 2 which will result in a positive 15. For number five, positive divided by positive results in a positive. 65 divided by five is 13. For number six, we have a negative divided by a negative, so that's going to be a positive. Negative 66 divided by negative six is going to be a positive 11. Number seven, we have a positive divided by a negative. So our answer is going to be negative. 75 divided by 15 is five. So 75 divided by negative 15 is a negative five. Number eight, we have negative 56 divided by negative 14. That's going to result in a positive number. 14 goes into 56 four times. So negative 56 divided by a negative 14 is a positive four. For number nine, we have 102 divided by negative 17. Our resulting answer is going to be negative since we have a positive divided by a negative. 102 divided by 17 is going to be six. So 102 divided by negative 17 is a negative six. Number 10, negative 72 divided by negative four. Negative divided by negative is going to give us a positive so this is going to be a positive 18. 
Now in number 11, they've only switched up the format. Instead of using a division bar, they're using the division sign. But this is the same as 153 divided by 17. That fraction bar, remember, represents division. So 153 is positive, 17 is positive, and a positive divided by a positive is also a positive. So when we divide 153 by 17, we're going to get a positive 9. Here we have a positive 12 divided by a negative 3. A positive divided by a negative is going to result in a negative. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so 12 divided by negative 3 is a negative 4. 13, we have a positive divided by a positive. 48 divided by a positive 6 is going to result in a positive 8. 8 times 6 equals 48. Number 14. We have a negative 120 divided by a negative 20. Negative divided by negative is a positive. 120 divided by 20, both that numerator and denominator, we would be able to remove a 0 from the 1's place. So that would be negative 12 divided by negative 2, which is a positive 6. Number 15, we have a positive divided by a positive. Let's go ahead and do long division. 18 does not go into 3, but 18 goes into 30 one time. Then we're going to subtract 18 from that 30 to get 12. Now we simply bring down this 6. 18 fits into 126. So the answer for number 15, 308 divided by 18, is a positive 17. 16, we have a negative divided by a positive. That's going to result in a negative. 13 goes into 65 five times. So the answer is negative Five. And now on to our last four problems. For 17, we have a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive. So 85 divided by 17 is 5. So negative divided by a negative is positive. 85 divided by 17 is a positive 5. Number 18, we have a positive divided by a negative. So our resulting answer is going to be negative. 128 divided by 16 is 8. So our answer is a negative 8. 19, we have a negative divided by a positive. So again, our answer is going to be negative. 15 goes into 180 12 times. So negative 180 divided by 15, if you want to see that in a long division, I'll go ahead and type 180 divided by 15. 15 goes into 1 0 times. 15 goes into 18 once. So that's 15. 18 minus 15 is going to be 3. Bring down the 0. 15 goes into 30 twice. Now lastly we have number 20. For number 20 we have 234 divided by negative 13. A positive divided by a negative results in a negative. 13 goes into 234 18 times. So the answer to number 20, 234 divided by negative 13 equals negative 18. And with that answer, we will conclude this video. In the next video, please join me for doing numbers 21 through 36, where we're going to be multiplying negative and positive numbers. Don't forget to like this video and go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any requests for worksheets you want me to do or any problems that you're still confused on, go ahead and comment below.